Well, good afternoon, everyone. I've got a rather unique video for y'all today. Um, over at one of these farms that I have permission to hunt, and the landowner has actually had a pretty severe raccoon problem the past few months, uh, resulting in about eight dead chickens. So these uh, raccoons are definitely nuisance species, and I'm out here with my traps trying to trying to get these set up, and maybe we can catch a couple. I've had them on my trail cameras here, uh, and it looks like there's only about two no more than three of them that move through here they're big old suckers but uh, they're definitely causing issues and they definitely need to be addressed so I'm gonna set up a couple traps today I'll check them tomorrow and then sit out tomorrow night and see if I can't get eyes on them and maybe get a shot at one like I said there's only like two or three so if I can take out a couple of them or maybe all three of them That'd be fantastic and it really helped the landowner out. So I'm gonna get started here and uh, just kind of bring you guys along for it. And if anything special happens, you guys will definitely see it. Alrighty y'all, uh, it rained on me a little bit there, but I was able to get both sets in on uh, two different spots. Uh, both are on some crossings for trail, so I have high odds of uh, getting at least one, I hope, so uh, fingers crossed. Uh, I put trail cameras out on each one of them so we can see whatever comes through there. got them set on video mode and uh, it's looking pretty good from here. I'll be back here tomorrow to check on them and uh, I'll catch up with you guys then. folks it's the next day here just pulled up uh, got a bit of a late start today of course when I had a time crunch the battery on my truck died so had to get that replaced but I'm out here now and haven't gotten a chance to look over at where the traps are so I'm gonna hop out of the truck here uh, bring the 22 with me just in case and check out these traps and then take it from there so let's come along and check them out Alright, well I hope you can hear me with this wind, but I'm here at the first trap site and clearly something went up. It's definitely been messed with and it has not been set off for whatever reason. Somehow it was able to get flipped up totally without getting set off. So I don't know what to say about that. I'm going to reset it here and then move on to the next one down the hill. It's a little disappointing, but luckily I've got the trail camera on video mode right behind me. So hopefully whatever did this, uh, we'll be able to see on camera. So I'll check that out and overlay it uh, once I get this set up. So just give me a minute here and I'll be back with you guys. All right, here at the second one. Uh, this one doesn't look like it was touched at all. Uh, I might actually end up moving this one uh, to a better spot. I've definitely gotten a lot more sign of raccoons up at the top of the mountain rather than down here. Uh, bright side about this is that there's a lot of mud down here and you can usually see a lot of tracks and there's just no tracks in this stuff so I'm gonna probably do a, a two in a line up on the top of the mountain where that first one was and uh, yeah pull this one so I'm gonna get started on that. All right folks good morning it's the next day here uh, like I said yesterday Put out those two foothold traps on the other side of this mountain here and uh, one of them had definitely been messed with 
Uh, upon investigating on the trail camera videos, it turns out it was the raccoon. I don't know how the trap didn't go off. He was digging all up in there and he spent maybe 10 or 15 minutes at the trap site. So I cleaned up the trap as best I could yesterday and hopefully it's a little more sensitive today. Um, I'm hoping at least got one uh, after seeing that video yesterday. So I know he's out here and I know he knows about the bait and the traps. So. I ended up moving the one that was down in the bottom back up in elevation, kind of in the same area as that first one I got messed with yesterday. And I put out a third trap over here. So I haven't had a chance to check any of them. Um, I'm gonna start walking here now and uh, bring you guys along and keep our fingers crossed and hopefully we got one. So let's get moving. Okay, just uh, around in the corner here from where I parked. Uh, chicken coops right here. Uh, you can see there's a couple of traps that the landowner had here. Um, they said that they didn't catch anything but a possum, but I can't see inside the trap, but the trap I set yesterday was right down this access road and uh, it's definitely set off, so. Hopefully we got a raccoon in there and not a possum, but uh, let's get walking over there and see what it looks like. <sighs> well, y'all, not exactly what we were looking for. This is uh, the possum. I don't think he's causing any trouble. I'm gonna figure out how to get him out of here and set this trap and leave it open. Dang, I was really hoping for a coon. We're just gonna loop down this access road after this and get around the corner back to the where the other traps are so I'm gonna release this guy and keep moving Looks like uh, we do have one in one of the traps. Hell yeah. Let's go down and check it out. All right, we got one. It's pretty awesome. Uh, this is probably the same one that I had on video last night on the site just on the other side of this plot. Uh, trapping has gotten a bad rap, but uh, keeping the predator-prey ratio in check is something that really helps a property uh, especially when it comes to turkey and deer so um, I'm going to take care of this guy him alone is likely responsible for the death of at least eight chickens according to the landowner so I'm happy to help out and uh, get rid of a pest on the property so I'm going to dispatch him and then uh, meet you all back at the truck everyone just to wrap everything up got the raccoon dispatched in here on the tailgate as I mentioned there were two potentially even three raccoons running around on this property but in the past six months I've only ever gotten one at a time on a camera so it leads me to believe the other two aren't around anymore and it was just this one either way I'm really happy to help the landowner out here and get this one off the property as I mentioned previously this raccoons likely responsible for about eight chicken deaths in the past few weeks and uh, that's never good. So definitely a pest on the property. And just an extra icing on the top of the cake is that these nest predators take quite a toll on turkey populations during the nesting period in the springtime into the summer. So again, really happy to get this raccoon off the property. Uh, the trapping is something I've done on and off the past few years. Um, something I just really enjoy doing. Obviously, it's not exactly trapping season, but when they have such a pest like this one, definitely got to get it off the property. So. If you guys want to see more trapping content, let me know. Any other ideas for me in terms of content, be sure to drop them in the comments. I'd be happy to do anything that y'all want. I really appreciate all of y'all's support the past year, and uh, I'll see you from the woods next time.